Okay, now that you've got your map and your data analyzed, how do you output it? How do you save it? How do you produce a report from it? There's all kinds of powerful things inside ArcGIS to let you visualize and then display your work to others. You can export it into a variety of different formats. You can embed it into a website. There's all kinds of ways that you can output that. Let's start with the simplest way and create a layout from your data and add things that are standard to most maps like scale bar, a north arrow, your name, some text, some metadata, photographs, and that sort of thing. You can do that inside the layout mode of ArcGIS Desktop. Hi, we've seen in other videos how easy it is to classify data, how easy it is to uh, represent data in different ways using different classification methods and also to normalize, for example, data, dividing one variable by another. In this video, let's chat a bit about how to output data. So, for example, if I've got this map here and I'm, I'm looking at 1930 to 1940 population, if I want to output that, I can do a variety of things. For one thing, I can do a file export map. If I do a file export map, it's going to give me some options. For example, I can, get, I can create a JPEG of this map. Um, I can create a PDF of this map. Um, I can create a bunch of other different formats. Uh, one of the things about this PDF output is that I can symbolize uh, and turn on and turn off layers, sort of make a smart PDF, so to speak. And that uh, is nice to be able to give to someone so they can turn on and turn off layers and do some measuring and some other things just in a regular PDF. They don't have to have any GIS software on their end. So I've got some output options there. Another thing that I can do is I can switch to this layout view. If I switch to this layout view, I can do a variety of things. Think of this as your sort of page size. Could be a poster. Um, whatever you want to do with it, you can embed that into your uh, Word doc or your PowerPoint or your uh, presentation software of any any kind. You can embed this into a web page. There's a lot of things you can do with it. Let's go ahead and add some things to it though. How about a title? Let's go ahead and say uh, population change 1930-1940. Okay. And I'm going to put my title right there. And then how about a north arrow. Kind of depends on map at this scale. It's not... Depends on where you are on the map, where north is. Uh, but we're going to put that one there. Okay. How about a legend? What do we want in there? We want to have our states in there. And I'm going to take out some of these other layers and just have my state populations because I don't have highways or anything else turned on. Let's keep things simple and go ahead and give it a shadow and finish. Okay, so there's my legend. I'm going to put that down here and let's go ahead and zoom down there and see what we've got. Okay, so there's my legend. I might want to tweak that a bit and make it opaque so that it's not um, interfering with the states of Mexico behind it, so let's do that. Okay, I like that a little bit better. Let's go back to my entire layout now. Let's go ahead and insert some text. I've got a title now. I'm going to change the symbol a little bit. And let's put that somewhere else. We don't want it, obviously, in the middle of Kansas. So let's drag that symbol into the Gulf of Mexico. All right, so I've got the beginnings of my map. And this is all in the layout view. There are a lot of other things that you could put in here. Photos, videos, etc. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and insert a picture. Okay? I've got a picture here 
of the Dust Bowl. So this is an image that's meant to show population loss on the Great Plains. So up here I'm going to have a photo of the Dust Bowl. I might want to describe that image with some more text. I can certainly do that as we've seen. So as you can see it's quite easy to output your map into this layout mode and then add some objects to it. This could become part of your presentation, written or oral presentation, or both. Remember one last note that your m map and your layout are tied together. So in other words you don't want to be deleting this. This is your data frame that's tied to your map. If you delete that you're going to be deleting from your data view as well. So the data view and the map view are tied together. Let's sum up. We've demonstrated some of the ways that you can output your map. You can export it into a graphic format, for example a JPEG or a PNG file. You can export it into a PDF. You can embed this into a web page. You can go into the layout mode as we've done here in this last segment where you can add different elements, pictures, text, layouts, scale bars, titles, and so on. And that part becomes a segment of your presentation, whether it's an oral presentation or, or a written presentation. Excellent. Thanks. Remember that your goal in geographic information systems analysis, or GIS analysis, is not to produce the perfect or the final end-all be-all map. Your goal is really to analyze spatial patterns. The geographic perspective is so valuable, not just for things that we would ordinarily think of as geographically based, like biomes and climate and landforms, river systems and that sort of thing, but think about anything that you're asking the where question about. This could be business data, demographics, uh, watersheds, um, it could be historical population. Any kind of data can be analyzed spatially. And that spatial perspective often allows us to see patterns that we couldn't see in just a table or just a, a, a paper map. Okay? So your goal in a GIS-based analysis is to uncover patterns. And you can always change your, your, your scale, your symbols, and that sort of thing. So don't make scale, symbol, you know, the perfect map is your final goal. Now, that being said, it is very helpful and oftentimes critical to understand the underpinnings, the cartographic underpinnings of what you're analyzing. Okay, so good map design is important to communicate your message. But don't make that end-all, be-all map your final goal. Your goal is to analyze spatial patterns.